G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm going to do another swipe for you. I've still got some of these colours left from my previous swipe. Um, the one that I swiped black this way, white this way, black this way, white that way. Um, I ended up pouring black along the top of the other one and swiped the whole thing with black because I wasn't happy with it. Um, I am a lot happier with how it turned out. Um, the photo of it is on the Australian acrylic pouring page if you want to see how it turned out, the new one. Um, yeah, so I just haven't worked out yet how to stop a video, add a photo, continue it. So anyway, I'm not that tech in that way. So I've got some um, aqua, some white, navy and some copper and my black that I'm going to swipe with. And I'm using coconut milk hair serum. This has got dimethicone in it. I've just popped it in here. And I'm going to put uh, two drops in each colour. Except the swipe colour. Uh, that one maybe just one because it's not as much paint in there. I don't want a mass of cells. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I've been trying to create the nice, big, round, fat, juicy cells um, sort of dotted around without just a mass of cells everywhere. I'd like a little bit of background. So I'm going to go around that twice, stir it in, not too much. Move the black. Okay, and I'm going to swipe with my sheet of plastic that I always use for swiping with. It's just a document holder that I've cut open. Alright, so I'm just going to do random colours. I'm not going to do stripes or stripes this way. Just, just sort of random. I want the colours to mix. And that's how you get your multicoloured cells. If you've got the silicone oil coming up from the bottom and it's bringing different colours of paint with it, different layers. That's how you get your multicoloured cells and I think those are really pretty. So that's what I'm trying to achieve. And I love these colours. If you've seen my videos you'll know that I love aqua and navy copper together. So I'm just pouring this on. I will tilt it to cover everything. Now I don't want too much of the copper, so I won't use all of that. And then just a, a sprinkling of the white as well. That would make a really nice dirty pour, wouldn't it, if I started tilting and just left it that way. Now I'm going to tilt a bit of this paint off because it's too thick. Got too much paint on there. And with the colours, um, they're sort of tilting and they're mixing together. That's, that's a good thing. We want them to mix together, start combining a bit. I should have marked where I had that. I don't know if it's in frame now. I forgot to do that. and have a peek. Just need a little bit more coverage down here, so I'll tilt that way. Just to get that bottom bit covered. Back again. It doesn't matter too much because as you drag the paint down it's going to cover the bottom edge anyway. I'd like to have it all covered. Now, I'm just going to check to make sure that's it back in frame. That's all right. Okay, now the black. Um, I don't think I told you what I mixed these paints at. These were three parts Floetrol to one part 
paint and my swipe colour as well, three parts flow troll to one part paint. It's just the leftover paint that I did from my last pour. Using it all up. I'll just give that a bit of a tilt just to even it out. Okay, here we go. Exciting part. Now, I won't touch that right to the very edge of my card. This is a 300 gram thickness white card that I buy for my little experiments or just when I want to do a little pour. Don't actually have to do a big canvas. You can just do a little pour if you want to. Now, I'm just touching that plastic into the black and dragging it across. I'm not putting any pressure on it. Don't stop halfway through or your plastic will drop down and make a dent. Just keep going nice and evenly. Throw my plastic in the sink. Okay, lots of cells. Now these little tiny ones, that's the flow troll that does that. Can't be helped. If you're using Floetrol, you're going to get cells. The bigger ones are from the coconut milk hair serum. They will keep growing, these bigger ones. So I'm not going to torch it just yet. I'm going to see what happens. I've just broken my little card in half. It's just a, a paint sample chip. I'm going to, going to do the edge here. Edges always seem to get missed. You don't have to do your edges, but you might as well finish it off, hey? There we go. Pour a little bit of black over this here where the act was showing through just to neaten up the sides. While I'm waiting for those cells to do their thing. Make sure you always run your finger underneath if you're using these cards onto your cooling rack otherwise in a few days your card will be stuck to the rack and you won't be able to move it. It'll all tear as you pull it off. So if you're leaving it on here every day just run your finger or a knife around to loosen it. What I'll do is, um, when I've finished this session, I will lift it up and I'll move it onto another table on a piece of um, greaseproof paper, uh, non-stick paper, and that will, it'll dry nice and flat out there. I won't have to worry about it sticking. So, cells are growing as you can see, and I'm getting multicolored cells. Look at that one. There's some copper inside, some aqua in that one. These ones in here have got oh, three or four colours inside them. Really pretty. That one's copper inside white, inside aqua. We've got navy, aqua, navy. Lots of different colours happening there. And I haven't torched that at all. I don't think I will torch it actually. I, I like the, the difference of having the big cells against these little tiny ones. If I torch that now, uh, the cells would all come up and I just have a mass of big cells and, and that's not what I want. I'm going to have to um, keep experimenting with it. These little ones here, these little tiny ones in the black background, they're white and they've got tiny little blobs of copper inside them. I'll take you in for a close-up later and you can see them. They are so cute. Okay. And these are quite nice up here where the black is thicker. They're a nice round cell. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm still experimenting. I'm going to do an experiment later today with um, some glue, going back to glue and flow troll. Just cutting the flow troll down a bit. Um, just to see if I can reduce these tiny little cells that I'm getting because I prefer just a plain background but I can't get the plain background 
with Floetrol. I'm always getting these little tiny cells. So that will be a, an experiment a bit later on. I'll take you in for a close-up. That's the cockatoos outside screeching. Wild cockatoos just out the backyard there. Okay, that's about as close as I can get, unless I take the camera off. But really pretty. Happy with that one. What do you think? Uh, please join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. Try this and um, put your photos up so that we can all see them. I love seeing everyone's work. Um, copper, as you can see, reacts really nicely with the other colours. I tend to make that a little bit thicker. It gives lovely cells, the metallics, but you do need to make it thicker. Uh, two to one mix with the copper, with any metallics. Two Floetrol to one copper. Now, I think I'll just take the camera down, take my gloves off. The camera doesn't get covered in paint. And I just want to show you these tiny little cells. Go down off my ladder. Round we go. Let's see if I can show you this. Is it going to focus? Don't know that I can focus on that. Gorgeous little cells. Hope that's focusing. I can't really see very well. These are the ones that have got a few colours in them. I will see you for the next video. Actually, that's looking better. I can actually see that now. Look at that. Aren't they cute, those little cells with the other colours inside them? Let's go up here quickly so you can see these little bubbly ones up against the black. These ones here that have got the multicolored cells. And over in the corner. We'll look at these ones here. More little bubbles at the top. Okay. That'll be enough for now. I will see you for the next video. Bye for now.